I'm Taylor Vitani, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Living Show, Living in Shelby Township. I'm at the Activity Center today with one of my favorites, Mike Adams. <laughs> Mike, it's been since the or the Mother Sundance since I've seen you last. How you been since then? I've been good, staying busy. Yes, yes, me too, I, I understand. So we're here to talk basically all about disc golf and disc golf particularly at Riverbends Park. Yes. So I know that a lot of people go to Riverbends Park and they don't even realize that there is disc golf there. Um, so can you kind of place, locate where it is in the park? Yeah, so it's off the 22 mile road entrance. Uh, we have 27 holes there generally. Um, the first tee box is, is a little hidden it's in the back of the parking lot by the Maple View Pavilion. So if you're not too familiar with that, you might miss it. But there are postings at the kiosk once you come into the park. Um, it kind of gives the layout of the map, but we're always changing that a little bit um, for maintenance issues and to keep the course fresh. But uh, we always post the map up there. But generally by the Maple View Pavilion, they'll start seeing the first tee box for the first hole. Um, and we try to keep the 27 holes, but like I said, due, sometimes due to flooding or maintenance, we have to adjust that a little bit. Right. So. Now, I'm sure people can go there and just play, you know, they have to pe be part of a team or anything, but is there teams, is there tournaments coming up? Um, how do people find out about that? Yeah, generally we have uh, one to two tournaments there and they're ran by the Motor City Chain Gang. It's just a local um, group of guys that have put on tournaments there for, I think as long as I've been here, over 20 years. And uh, great tournaments and very well done and, and these guys know what they're doing. And um, they have a Facebook page and a website, I believe, and all the information's on there. They're the uh, disc golf aficionados of the area. So um, everything's done through them, the Motor City Chain Gang. Well, that's really cool. And I don't know, are you a player? I am not. I've been down there many times watching and helping out, but I have not actually played yet, no. You know, I am not very sports coordinated, as anyone who knows me has seen. Um, but we are going to, after this, we're going to head over to the Riverbends Park, and we're going to see just how well I do. So, you know, keep your prayers. I'm going to try not to lose one in the water. We're going to see. But I want to thank you so much for, you know, coming today and talking with us about it. And if you guys are really into disc golf or if you know anyone who's into disc golf, make sure that you check out the website, check out the park. There is the disc golf there, even though some people don't know about it. So go and make sure you check it out. Okay, we made it to Riverbends Park and now we are at the disc golf course and despite my lack of athletic ability, we're going to see just how far I can make it and if I can make it into that thing. So we'll see. Here we are at the Shelby Township Activity Center. Uh, my name is Joe Youngblood, but we've been coaching for about 17 years. And the Shelby Pistons, we had two teams this year. This year, Coach Jimmy, who's been uh, my right-hand man out there coaching, does the scoring for us, makes all the changes. He is the glue that holds the Pistons together. Coach Jimmy, why don't you say a little word? What do you like the best about coaching the Pistons? Um, like being around your friends? Either being here or or when I go somewhere. Yeah, he likes to travel him. We used to go out uh, to the dorms, summer Olympics, winter Olympics, right? Doing well, the I was I was gonna say, um when I'm gone, some of you guys have to take over. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Jimmy will do a little traveling and he's always worried about who's gonna pick up the slack, uh, because he's one of the top coaches around. So he does a great job for us and we just like to thank uh, everyone involved, all the parents and all the sponsors. We have Mike Ward that's a big sponsor for us doing all the 5K races, which gets these beautiful uniforms for the Pistons. And it's just been a great experience. We 
We've been yep. inspired for several years. We uh, we always work together and we always stick as a team and we take some shots for all day long. It's it's um, all that counts. Good communication. Yep. Good communication, passing the ball around, getting closer to the net. Yep. Support the team, we can pass the ball and we can do good. The keys to victory is uh, great communication, lots of passes, lots of blocks, lots of unboxings, and lots of layups. And uh, we've always been generous about everything we all have done for this year around. The Shelby Township Fire Department welcomes three new firefighters to their ranks. Kyle Brown, Emma Corticus, and Nicholas Moran join the Shelby Township Fire Department and are excited and relieved to be a part of this township's fire department. It feels really good. So this was a long, a long process of going through fire academy and paramedic school and getting my degrees to come here. And it took me about four years to finish schooling to get here. So this is really, this is a good, a good moment. Here at Shelby, it's a great opportunity to be a part of a department like this. Um, big, lots of opportunities, um, lots of growth on a de department like this. Um, very excited. I came from a smaller community, and the call volume and the staffing, and there's more trucks, and it's it's very exciting to be here. Yeah, it feels fantastic. It feels really great to uh, start this job and kind of join the, uh, the family and brotherhood of uh, the fire service. I'm um, expecting a lot of work, uh, a lot of great times, a lot of funny stories, so uh, I'm just excited to kind of get my career started. These three firefighter medics picked the Shelby Township Fire Department to rise to the challenge and make a difference. Uh, the camaraderie of the people is definitely what made me more come towards this. I didn't. I, I like being physically active and I like serving, but it is the, the brotherhood of the, the fire department that I'm looking forward to becoming a part of. Met the people, everybody seems amazing here. Um, it's a very welcoming atmosphere, and something I'm looking forward to is that camaraderie and just the family that the fire service brings with it here. I can already tell that it's very important here, and I can't wait to be part of that. But uh, I would love to join the technical rescue, dive team, uh, swift water. Uh, any team I can really get a part, I'll be a part of. I believe I can bring a sense of integrity and uh, hard work ethic to the department. I believe those are two qualities I had uh, previously that I can also kind of bring to the fire service and just help out when I can. This past St. Patrick's Day weekend, the Metro Carvers Club of Michigan visited Shelby Township for Artistic Creations in Wood, a two-day showcasing of gorgeous handcrafted wooden art pieces and a celebration of a craft rich in tradition. Originally held in Madison Heights in Royal Oak, the Metro Carvers Club relocated their annual Metro show to the historic Packard Proving Grounds, amidst a need of a new venue following the COVID-19 pandemic. Apart from the Metro Carvers Club, several wood carving artists across Michigan gathered to display and sell their artwork to the public. While available for sale, the Carvers artwork is put to the eye for Public Choice Awards handed out throughout the festival. The Carvers aren't the only one taking home prizes, as all attendees were eligible to win delicate, handcrafted woodworks through raffles at various periods of the day. There was no shortage of crafts to be seen, as many Carvers were creating during the festival, showcasing the discipline, 
patience, and craftsmanship that goes into even the most minute details. The Metro Carvers Club welcomes the public to any interested in joining and sharing their passion for the craft of wood carving. Monthly meetings are held every third Tuesday of each month at the Washington Senior Center on Van Dyke, north of 26 Mile Road. For more information, visit MetroCarvers.com. This is Zach Hamilla, Shelby TV. So I would like to, prevent, uh, to present John Vermeulen, our trustee from uh, Shelby Township here, on behalf of the entire board and the library staff, the certificate of appreciation for your service to the library building project, acting as our liaison between the library building project and the trustees. It was a huge help to me to have you always in communication with the trustees so they understood that we were on time, on budget, that things were moving along, and how things were progressing with the building project. I really enjoyed working with you, and we would like to pre uh, present you with this uh, certificate of appreciation for all that you did for us. Thank you. I appreciate this. It was, it's absolutely wonderful that, that the library, the library board, friends of the library, all came together along with the board to thank me and award me with that wonderful plaque that I'll have forever. But the important thing is that we got this done. This was my third building okay. project that I've been a part of as a Shelby trustee, whether it was the courthouse, the police station, or most recently the library. And it was in a period of rapidly increasing inflation. So there were challenges that we'd never had before in completing this. Katie did a wonderful job. You know, I was there, I was asking some questions of Katie some questions of the contractors. We had excellent input from AEW. So, I mean, this was all a very good project. I had the pleasure of working with a number of professionals. Katie was the absolute best as a library director, and I'll tell you, uh, I would periodically talk to Rick over this, and Rick would give me his input as well. The board worked with us every step of the way. This was part of our our project to make this community very proud of what we have for the amenities for our residents to use. And I think everybody who visits our library will clearly understand that. And, and they will appreciate exactly what this library means to them as taxpayers, as residents, for their families and for their children. <laughs> Did you know that Shelby Township has an activity center? Yeah, a place where you can play basketball, volleyball, pickleball, or just go for a leisurely stroll on an indoor court for a low fee. You can get your steps in at the activity center with open walking around the Shelby Township Activity Center gym. Contact Shelby Township Parks and Recreation offices at 731-0300 for more information. Youth and adult basketball is also offered at the activity center. Please call for dates and times. and the sport that is taking Shelby Township by storm, pickleball. Call the Shelby Township Parks and Recreation offices for more information. Finally, you can dig, set, and spike at volleyball. Call 731-0300 for more information. The Shelby Township Activity Center is located at 14975 21 Mile Road, Shelby Township, Michigan, 48315. It is located at 21 and Hayes on the north side of 21 Mile, just west of Hayes. Now you know where to go.